How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Skip's Guns. So, what we have today, I think, is going to be pretty interesting of a video. But before we get started with the video, as always, I want to thank my Patreon supporters, all of you guys for liking, subscribing, and sharing, and then anyone and everyone that's gotten work done from my company, SGZ. Speaking of SGZ, if you guys like hats or shirts, we have them. There is an email down below. Just simply send an email in, open a line of communication, and we will take it from there. And there is not going to be any shooting in this video, but if you guys like ammo and you like saving money, hit up our full-time ammo sponsor, Callaway Ballistics. You are going to save a ton of money, especially on shipping, if you use my code also down in the description. Now, let's get to business. This is a little bit different of a video. It's kind of uh, giving you guys a little bit of an inside view at what I've been trying to work on now, only for the past couple of days. And that is going to be uh, a certain platform we're probably going to start to do things with. And... Before we dive into that whole thing, I wanted to make this video first. You guys know I am a bit of a trigger snob. I really like a very nice trigger. I try to base everything off of a 1911, 2011 platform because in my opinion and most everyone else in the world, that is the top dog of triggers. And I mean... It's very hard to beat that. So with that being said, I am going to show you my Nemesis. And I, the reason why I want to use the Atlas Nemesis is because Atlas is known for having some of the best triggers in the industry. So this is going to just kind of give you the overall gauge of what we're trying to get to. So... You get that little bit, you hit a wall, a nice break, and then this is where it gets interesting. The reset pushes back and just really gives you a very solid platform. And I mean, this gun, it helps aid in accuracy. It really just, the trigger is the heart of the gun. So why wouldn't you want it to be as good as it could possibly be? With that being said, now let's start to kind of dive into all of this stuff. So we're going to start with this one because you're going to see this review coming up very soon. That is the TTI Canic. Now, Canics are known to have some of the best striker-fired triggers known in the industry again. And... I figured the TTI one would be even better because they're known for having really good triggers and stuff. Well, it's it wasn't bad, but it wasn't anything different than what Canik already had. So what we did with this, because this is one of my good friends, and you guys have seen many of his guns on this channel. This is his, and once I got it, I was like, you know what? We can make this trigger a lot better, and this is what we did. So... That's the wall. Break. It really shortens the reset up. But it the most it does is changes the geometry of the trigger and gives you a better, I guess, uh, a better angle of attack here. And then it shortens the pre-travel by almost like 60%. And then you just get that amazing crisp break and reset that these things are known for so that is going to be one of the options and it is kind of cool their holster has the tti logo embedded in it i would expect nothing less obviously they're like i said in the last video their stuff's like nascars uh from there we are going to dive into something that we do offer this is the p320 platform and you guys will see videos on all these guns coming up. If you're really interested, comment down below. Let me know which ones you want to see in what order. But this is a trigger. That's the take up. And then nice break. It's not 
uh, super crisp SIGs, especially the 320s. They're known to be really spongy. This is about as good as it's going to get, but this is light years better than what you get from factory. So that's one of them. Uh, now we're going to move on to obviously the 2011s that we do here. This is another one you're definitely going to see a video on because this is one of my favorite guns. I, I don't know why. It's literally a budget gun. One of the cheaper ones on this wall, but I love it. So that is the pre-travel. That's the wall. Nice crisp break. And then the reset. Forced, short, and tactile. The forced portion of it is pushing your finger back up, giving you your follow-up shots, and that consistency is what's going to aid in accuracy. And I really, that is the best trigger, period. So from there, we go to another platform that I've dove into lately. And that's going to be the CZs. And what we do with these is we get rid of the double action and I do a single action only trigger. That's our take up. And then you hit a very crisp wall with a nice, beautiful break, honestly. Reset. The reset on these is forced exactly the way that the 2011s are, except the 2011, the trigger, it just goes straight back it isn't on a fulcrum where it would kind of pull like this it's not on a hinge these just simply sit like this and go straight back and that is what really does aid in giving you an awesome trigger and a reset so that's going to be the cz and then as you guys saw a couple of videos ago in the tti at home video we have my glock 45 with the Johnny Glocks trigger and then Timney internals all tuned by one of my good friends over at Williams Gunworks. Highly suggest you go take a look. They are going to be really known very soon, but he did an amazing job with this thing. I was shocked. I've never felt a Glock trigger like this. So that's the take up. And then you hit that wall and you get... A really nice break. One thing Glocks have is a very crisp break and reset. The reset on this is perfect. Best Glock trigger I've ever felt. And that got me really thinking about what I could actually get out of it myself. And that's where this little fella came in. Now you might be saying, well, that's kind of ugly. And I might say, you should try shooting it first. So, this thing is kind of like a, uh, a macro Glock. So, you have that integrated comp in the front. The barrel actually stops about right here. And I'm going to be doing a video on this thing as the ugly duckling. But the thing that just... This thing shoots ridiculous. So, I took a Timony trigger and I tried to retune it myself. And this is what I got. So... Right there, not hitting the safety. We are safe. And this is going to be the take up. So you're pretty much just pushing in the safety, clearing the way. Then you're going to hit a wall. And then you're going to have a very crisp break with a reset. That's it. So all together. I mean, I'm... I've never been big into Glocks, and I've really never been big into tuning them or anything, but I am actually really proud of this setup. From there, we are going to talk about potentially something that could uh, be of interest. And before I say anything, we never sell anything on this channel. We merely just give you guys visuals of what we do in real life, but I'm not showing you this to be like, hey man, buy this specific thing right now. It is just to give you guys the ideas of what we do, and you can do with that information whatever you want. That being said, 
when you guys were talking about my TTI at home gun, you kept saying, why don't you make something like this? And I kind of took that and I, uh, I wanted to see what we could do. Something in my head lit up at that point and... I mean, you guys let me know. I'm going to show it to you right here. There's going to be a full review coming in the next few days. But what I have here is the Shadow Systems XR920P. Now, the difference with this setup is going to be that it's already comped. It is a full dust cover. We are going to be doing the optic. We are going to be doing the light. We are going to be adding a, an additional Glock mag with an extended base plate to give it just more rounds. And then I'm contemplating doing some different stippling, but I mean, honestly, it really doesn't need it at all. But you already get a bronze barrel. You already get a good recoil system. You already get really nice visuals going on here. And here's where it starts to get a little bit silly. So there's going to be two different variations. There could potentially be something like this where you have the regular Timney setup, but just tuned, obviously. Or we're going to go even further, and it's going to be something more along the lines of like a uh, Johnny Glock setup. So I went and I purchased this gun and the Johnny Glock's entire competition kit. So this is not the Timney setup. And I was really impressed with the platform, but I did want to adjust something that he doesn't mind. And I get it, you know, but for me trying to replicate 2011 triggers, this was something that I wanted to kind of make a little bit better. And this is what we came up with so that's the pre-travel and it is safe as you can see here you can't move it so that's the pre-travel you get a little little bit of movement on the actual trigger and then a very nice wall and a crisp break and then the reset very tactile again a super forced reset so i'm not going to be taking full credit here the majority of this is a drop-in setup from Johnny Glocks. I only took care of the pre-travel and then some overall um, aid in how I wanted it to work. And I mean, once again, it really doesn't get any better than that. So. You guys tell me what you think of this setup. Maybe this is an option. Maybe it isn't. You know, I, I really do think that if we're going to be looking into stuff like this, this platform, this exact setup is going to be the actual winner. Slide to frame fit is way tighter than what you would get out of just a regular setup. I mean, you got a little wiggled. Obviously, these things aren't known to be slide to frame monsters or anything, but this is definitely built very different in comparison to most. Of course, there's Zevs and stuff like that, and I have them, and we're going to compare them as well, but I feel like best bang for your buck with a lot of extra effort put in to make this a one-stop shop. This is potentially going to be where it's at so guys comment down below let me know what you think stay tuned because we're gonna do the review on this thing we're gonna put like roughly 500 rounds on camera through this thing just repeatedly and we're really gonna put it to the test because if something like this is gonna have the sgz name we want to make sure that it's gonna run and it's gonna run good so let me know what you guys think, please. I really, I wanted to do this a little bit premature to, to get your opinion on it, to see what you guys actually think about this. Uh, I don't know. You guys let me know, please. 
I hope that this interests you. If it doesn't, we continue to look. I also have something else up my sleeve. We're not ready for that one just yet. But uh, guys, remember, stay safe, believe and achieve. We'll check you later.